uh, grassing particularly i think shareholders are getting into the growth businesses that to me is a is a, a biggest thing in the process they are also getting a uh, listed company shares hmm. uh, of of one of the fastest growing uh, space which is financial services hmm. and I, as i was explaining uh, the grassing shareholder who owns 100 shares today they'll continue to kind of hold uh, 100 shares they'll also get 700 shares of financial services to me is a, is a, is a big uh, benefit to the shareholders of the grassing what would be the name of the merged entity would there be a rebranding exercise that would be required uh, at this stage uh, i don't have uh, any any specific name but uh, grassim is what we are going to call we're actually a fairly unique financial services business. We have a large number of businesses. We have 12 or 13 businesses underneath. And in each business, we've built scale. And I don't think there's another business like that really available in the market. So we felt that this is a good time to actually look to unlock value and give a broader base of investors the ability to benefit from that. If I understand correctly, some funds will be used towards financial services and scaling that up. What verticals in particular would receive the benefit of this? So largely the verticals that require funding in the, in the current, uh, in our current network are uh, the NBFC, the housing finance company. Uh, both of these require, uh, require funding and our health insurance business. So these are the three verticals that yes. you'll be looking to scale up? Yes. Okay, so and uh, you said no listing plans for any of the separate verticals. Could that change uh, in, in the time that the merger is complete by the time next year happens? No, I don't think it's going to change in that time frame at all.